So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get pro cinematography footage with your FPV drone. Whether you are a pro or just a novice or just have a really crappy tune that your quad can't even fly straight for two seconds, which is what I've done here. I've set up a super extreme situation where I'll be able to show you what you could achieve with two things, which is a GoPro and real steady go now today we're going to be using the gopro hero 8 you could also use the hero 6 and possibly the hero 7 i haven't tested those but i'm using a gopro hero 8 with stability turned off so you will get to see how bad the flight was and what i was able to accomplish with such a terrible flight and purposely also flying very extremely bad and this is the precursor to future tutorials that are going to be upcoming where i'll also be going into depth and detail on the best settings and some of the things you need to do now i've also done this with no nd filter and i'll show you what my gopro settings are in a bit but first of all let's take a look at some clips here and to show you the difference i was able to achieve with the same flight footage so the first clip we're going to take a look at is me taking off and also just keep rolling back and forth to make a very unstable flight and you can also see the pit tune kind of oscillate here and there and then we're going to transition to the smoothed out version with real steady go which we're going to get into a bit more detail after this quick preview so here's the flight that's not been stabilized and you can see taking off and now i start rolling left right left right left right left right because once you see the smooth side you won't even see that and here's the smooth footage right here and you can see that it's just absolutely smooth and look at this i'm rolling i'm still rolling here but you don't see any of it or barely any traces of it so that's just a quick preview we're going to see more throughout this video however now we're just going to cover the basic mode settings currently in the gopro before jumping in any further so i'm going to have them also right here on the side of the screen here now for resolution and frame rate i use 2.7k 4x3 very important to use 4x3 and 60 frames per second here. Now, the reason why I didn't use 4K 4x3 is because my PC will just explode and I'm currently in the process of buying more parts to build a new PC to handle that. But right now I'm using 2.7K 60 frames per second at 4x3 ratio, very important here. Now, hyper smooth must be turned off. I'll also show you footage of hyper smooth on, which is also still really great footage and it really takes out just about every problem you have in your footage. Now for the Pro Tune settings down here, for the bitrate I used high, shutter, you're not really supposed to use auto, but we just kept it simple. I wanted to see how it would perform. So we set it to auto. You should get pretty good results here. Now for white balance, I set it to 5,000. Just play with it until the, you know, the colors look right. Maybe have a friend next to you and just look at his skin tone against the uh, camera's uh, screen skin tone and try to get that right. It's gonna be fine. ISO min, I put 100, ISO max 400, very important. I find that to just make the overall process much better for the software. Also, the sharpness, you want to set that to low because it also adds into the effect of the motion blur, which is something we also want and why people use ND filters. But we're going to get into that in a more advanced step. Right now, I'm just trying to do a beginner setup here. Color, I usually like doing it in raw and then doing uh, the color editing later. But for the sake of this tutorial, I shot everything in GoPro color, so it does all the color correction for you. Uh, audio, you can, raw audio off, it doesn't matter. Mic, doesn't matter. And these are just extra settings, which you really don't need to care about. But this is what you really need just to get going and to get footage just like I got here. Now, once you capture the footage here, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and download Real Steady Go or even purchase it. You can download the free trial, but it will have watermarks all over the place. However, buying Real Steady Go is only $100 and is totally worth it in my opinion. All right, guys. So once you go ahead and load up your movie, it's a very simple software. So you press load right there and you load up your file and it'll go through this and start adding these green points here. Now you'll be like, well, what the hell are these green points here? Well, in every GoPro footage, there is, we could consider it subtitles. Now these subtitles are basically the gyro data. And those green points are syncing in the subtitles with what's going on with the footage. So when you say hello, it actually gives the subtitle at the exact same time saying hello. So it's kind of the same thing when you make a right turn that the gyro was actually doing a right turn so the software could compensate for that right turn and keep your footage stable. For example, if you illegally downloaded a Netflix movie and ran it through a software called FFmpeg, you could find all of the subtitles for every language and you could actually export those out of the movie in text file format or SRT format, whatever format you want, even CSV. And the same thing is going on here. Um, the subtitle is the gyro data. 
And it's just, it, that's all it is. And we're just going to sync in when you say hello, that the gyro data is saying hello. And what's really nice now with the software, it's much easier to do that. Before it was slightly harder. And now it's just absolutely simple. And here's a quick issue that you might run into, which is going to be very useful for a lot of people and also help you understand this more. So the first thing I prefer and like to do is I like to go to the settings here on the down right. And I like to remove that, drop that right about there and drop that right about there. That should be pretty good. Don't do lock horizon because if you do flips, you're, you're, it's just going to be terrible. You can play with that stuff later. We'll also cover that later on. But right now, this is just throw it at something like this and you should be pretty good. We're going to press OK. We're just going to let it recompute this real quick. All right. So now it has completely finished recomputing. The next thing I want to do is I want to check over the footage. Uh, just go to the different green points of synchronization and see where it went out of sync. Now, this is very important to think of it that way. So the first thing I want to do here is, as you can tell, my first sync point was me putting the quad down. And um, there's really nothing there. So I just want to just delete that. You don't really need that. It's going to be fine. So we're going to go ahead and just delete that real quick. OK, and we're just going to double check this area right here, how it's going. Let's see what's going on here. OK, so it has started flying. Remember here, I was doing this when I was flying. I was doing the rolls so we could see how smooth that went. It's difficult to see right now, but you'll see the quadcopter from the shadow down here start to do this eventually. There we go. Now I started and looks smooth to me, which is really great. This is obviously supposed to be much faster, but because my PC is just under a lot of uh, load right now. So that sick point looked pretty good. Let's go ahead and go here. It's a little bit difficult with it being in super slow motion right here. So I don't want to look at a turn. I just want to see when it's flying straight because it was very windy and the thing was just going like crazy, the quadcopter here. So that's looking pretty smooth so far. Yep, that's looking pretty smooth. Just going to skip a little bit more. And yeah, if there was problems on this turn right here, I know for a fact I would see some issues, but it's looking good right now. And uh, let's go down here. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. I shouldn't have done a flip, but that's fine. We said extreme case. That's what I was trying to do here. Okay. Oh, in the, up in the sky, it was very windy. So it, it should have, it was doing this a lot, obviously. And looks really smooth to me. So this is the point where we start getting out of sync right here. So let's go ahead. And after this turn right here, you can see now we have a little... You know, it's kind of not in sync. So when the quad's going right, you know, the, the gyro is just not in sync anymore. And we're going to hit the inner part of this building. You could see already that I'm not doing any movements and you can see it kind of just shaking the whole screen when nothing is really happening here. So this is our first point of misalignment here. So what I'm going to do is after this point here, that's it. This got misaligned. So let's keep that as a note here. So it got misaligned here. I'm just going to go just quickly scrub the rest of it, see if it's also doing some weird stuff. It's still misaligned. And if we go back here, it's still misaligned. You could see how it's not really stable. And again, still misaligned. And yeah, that's pretty terrible. So from this point right here where it started becoming misaligned. So what I'm going to do, believe it or not, is actually just delete. So I'm going to delete this. I'm actually going to delete all of these right here. <clears throat> now, this could be different for a GoPro 7 and GoPro Hero 6, but I think Hero 6 and the Hero 8 are almost the same because of the gyro data they're being out, that's being outputted currently. And I also think the firmware version on my GoPro Hero 8 also uh, is very important, which I'll uh, probably post that back up in the beginning of the video somewhere. All right, so right now we've removed all of the sync points. Now this could be scary for most, but this is all you have to do. And now we're just gonna go find another spot. I wanna find a spot maybe when I'm going through the building. Oh, this is gonna be a beautiful spot right here, I think. So let's see. And as you can tell, actually, I really don't need to do any more smoothing. It seems pretty smooth already, just by deleting those. But we'll add one just in case. So that's not a good spot right here. I was turning way too fast for the software. As you can tell, I've solved most of the problems here. I really want a kind of a straight path where I'm just jittering uh, to kind of know what's really going on. But it's looking pretty smooth. I see a little bit of... Um... So I, what I can see right now is actually I don't even think I need to add another spot. But we'll just do it just in case. 
let's just add one gyro sync point here. All you gotta do is just click that button right there and it'll do the rest. And we're just gonna double check if that makes it out of sync. So it still seems pretty good. Let's see here how everything is. Looks really nice. Still looking really good here. It's just looking really great. We didn't even need to add another sync point, but we did it just in case. Now, what I was talking about is making the offset. What you can do is you can go to here and click on adjust. And you can adjust the synchronization of the gyro data to go back or forward here. And I haven't had to play with that at all because the latest update has just been so insane that I just add that sync point and it figures out the rest, which is pretty crazy here. And that's it. This video is basically ready. It's perfectly smooth. And now we can actually take a look at how it came out. So we just click save video and it'll export it out. And we can actually take a look at this video. So let's go ahead and do that together. So now I'm going to be playing on between real steady off and on. It's the same exact recording here. And you can see the differences. Now don't forget, I was also flying not good. I was just constantly rolling and banking up and down. And you'll see a perfect example of that right here. You see that? And I'll go back to it. That's what was really going on. And that's how clear and smooth it became, which is just insane here. So we're going to watch just a couple more clips of this. And then later on, I'm going to leave you guys with the final smoothed out version with a small edit where we just drop the audio, add a little bit of a song to it and just see how well we can do with such a crappy flight. It's just insane what you're able to do now with the software. All right, guys, and that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. Now, make sure you watch my Instagram where I took your advice to make this video. And you could also see a lot of behind the scenes stuff that I'll be posting there. So make sure you check it out. And I'll also be doing giveaways on my Instagram account. I really want to grow it. And also, if you want to support the channel, make sure you check the links to the builds down below. For example, the latest iFlight build, which I used in this video, and also the Geb RC build, which was also used on this video here. And also, if you didn't know, come check out Shop Drone Mesh where I have my merch. Secret shop access is only to my patreons and sometimes i release it to the public every two months or so but my patreons have always access to the secret shop where i sell things for crazy cheap so make sure you also support patreon i do like 10 plus giveaways a month and new patreons also get uh their own special giveaways for example five new patreons they have their own special premium giveaway if i'm giving away this quadcopter or giving away anything else so it's all about giving back so make sure you support me and let me know if you want to see more content like this because i really would like to do more of this during during the spring and summer right now the weather is slowly starting to clear up slightly but that day was a very windy day but we actually used it to our advantage which i'm very happy about and again check the links down below to support this channel and i'll see you in the next one guys peace out